Hi guys, welcome to this session in Google Sheets. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the XLOOKUP function with Google Sheets. So the first example is this little table here. I want to use this function, that's the XLOOKUP function. That's what I'm going to type to pull information off for this person. And then I can pull that down for these other people just to show you how that would work. So let's get into this cell. Type in equals X look up. Opening the bracket, it's asking me for the search key, which is my name. So I've clicked on H12, comma. Now it wants a lookup range. So this is the name of the people, all of that area, comma. And now it wants the result range, which is B3 to E27. So that's all of this, all the way down to the bottom there. And then... I need to just close the bracket and then press enter and it will fill it in for me. So I didn't need to go column two, column three, column four, which is what you have to do in a VLOOKUP. And if I just double click on this little cross, that will fill it down for all these other people. So hope 25,000 pounds of sales, 25,000. So you can change these names and it will bring in the relevant information from this list. So that's one example of XLOOKUP. This example, this next example, this one at the top here, is wanting to put these sales, these number of sales into brackets. And the brackets that I want them to be in is this sort of range here, 100 to 200, etc., etc. And this is the formula you can see at the top there. So let's get into this cell. So it's, again, it's equals X lookup, open the bracket. So this is what I need to look at, cell E3, comma. So the lookup range in this example is N3 to N9, which is this area, the sales. And it needs to be dollar signed. We're just going to dollar sign that with the F4 key, comma. And then the result range is these buckets. And that needs to be dollar signed as well, comma. So then you've got... Missing value, I'm just going to put a comma there. I'm not interested in that for this example. Match, I want an exact match, which is minus one. And then I close the bracket, press enter. And then it asks me, do I want to fill this down? Yes, I do. Tick. And then it just drops it in. And you can see that all of these now have this listed below. So 300 to 400, etc. Below 100, above 800, above 600. And that's the XLOOKUP function. Just two simple examples of its use. Obviously, there are many, many more. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.